he was Indian, so he suggested having turmeric, and I was like, you do realize that's probably going to make me worse, because it's, you know, a spice, and I'm not your best idea, yeah. but... That might make you throw up more than help you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I think that's going to be bad for you. So, FYI for the Indians out there, your your stuff doesn't work for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Desire said, drink water and eat beans, and you're good. Drink water yeah. and eat beans. That's not going to help you. What the fuck are these people thinking? Quit the recommending days, horrible things to this man. Beans, man. I'd be so gassy. I'd be to the moon in an hour. What? <laughs> That's what beans does to you. It makes you gassy, so yeah, avoid them. Beans kill you. Let's put it that way. Eventually, probably. Anything will kill you eventually, but... Let's you had beans today. Yeah, stop, stop talking. That's bad. Oh, that reminds me. Blackout actually supported a uh, fundraiser for someone's medical bills. Um, this really? was announced on Rehash by Anthony Smith. And um, I have to get the guy's exact name because I can't remember it. Get the uh, guy's name. Who the fuck did we help? Because whoever we helped, I'm pretty sure he deserved it. Yeah. Uh, it was good stuff here. Uh, Digi addiction, so digital addiction. Digi addiction, okay. So digital uh, addiction, we helped with the fundraiser. Yeah, what happened? Basically, I'm gonna kind of summarize this here. Uh, his wife ran into some medical problems, and they were having some funding issues. And you know, me being me, I saw this on rehash, and I'm like, you know what? What kind of a person would I be if I didn't support this? Sure and enough. Anthony kind of said the same thing. It's like if you have the power to advertise and you don't use it for good, you're kind of abusing your power. So I kind of, you know, I took it and ran with it. And I was like, you know what? This is this guy that needs help. Go help him. And I tweeted it out there. Hopefully some people went over and helped him out. Blackout's actually going to help him. I got some money that I'm going to send him myself as soon as I can feel well enough to actually pull that off. Because I haven't even touched anything a few days. But uh, Blackout will be personally supporting that, and I encourage everyone else to support it if they can. Absolutely. Actually, I think he's oh, yeah. doing a lot better now, and uh, yeah, so I'm hoping life for him is getting a lot better. I hope so, too. I mean, we really, I'm, I'm glad we, yeah, that you actually donated to the cause, brother. That's a very good thing. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm going to. <clears throat> well, I mean, the fact that we're bringing attention to it, that you are going to donate to it. That's good, man. I appreciate that. That's nice. That's fucking yeah. good of you. That's good-hearted. It's, it's not much, but it's pretty much all Blackout can afford. Not so much is better than nothing. You know, I'm pretty yeah. sure the people who yeah. say it, it, it isn't, like, not much to, to the people who are getting it, I'm pretty sure they appreciate it, regardless of how much you give oh, yeah. them. You know what I'm but, saying? That's a good thing. Yeah. I know people Any going on this, is like... always nice. Yeah, abs absolutely. But, um, so, Idol, outside of that, you know, what's going on with it? Nothing. I mean, it slowed down and now it's speeding back up. And my assumption is that uh, it's kind of back to normal. Uh, things are going up. My video went up where I, I talked about the topic you suggested to me of um, kind of, uh, uh, what was it? I have to think of it. Gender discrimination in graphic design. So we talked about that in the vlog and I talked a little bit about my health. So it was a pretty nice video. And uh, this week, I'm not sure what's going to go up this week, but uh, it'll be good. All right. I was thinking, uh, hold on. I was thinking I could do a behind the scenes of the Rum and Apple show. Like actually so show myself on camera, but do a little graphic animation art where there's an apple always covering my head. You could just motion track your face. It wouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Could you do you it? You can use a face rig. Yeah, could someone do it for me? Because I would totally do no, behind you... the scenes of Roman apples. Have you ever heard of Face Rig, the program? No. It's a program that like gives You're you like an animated character. You know what? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Marcel, cue it. Don't cue it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't do it. Why are you guys being so cunty? Huh? Why are you guys Wait, being so cunty? What happened? Cue it. What are, what are we cueing? Oh, God. I'm afraid. It. Let's go. Don't cue oh, it. Oh, dear. He said, I'll do it. <laughs> I actually had a chat with... Um, you guys are dicks. You guys are fucking yeah, medical dicks. Assistant today. I talked about how uh, eventually humans are going to become part cyborg as medical advances. Yeah, it's going to be Battlestar like, Galacta up in this motherfucker. You motherfuckers know it too. Oh, it's going to be so badass. I am no. your Starbuck. B, you and I are going to be on opposing sides. Because you're going to be fucking your Japanese $30,000 sex robot. 
and I'm gonna be trying to kill it. Oh my god. What? Am I wrong? Just a little bit. Well, okay, how much is a little bit? A lot. How much is a lot? You're not describing anything. Well, I don't see a robot next point. to me. You don't see a robot next to you? Oh, I do have to talk about this, though, because, like, what? there's this game that, um, and I think Bandai kind of fucked up on this. It's they a do. very popular franchise, and uh, shit guys probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's the game Lost Song for Sword Art Online. It came out in Japan for a lot of consoles, but they're only bringing it to America on the PS4. That's going to be the only uh, Americanized version that you can get in English. So if you want the Japanese version, you have to pay extra just to import it. Yeah, and it'll be when, stuck when they could just like bring it here exactly how it is, and it would work just fine. Yep. Well, that just sounds stupid on premise. Why would you do that? Because why would you make it more? Why would you make it more expensive? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sorry, why? I to go back. <laughs> what the shit was that? Something just God. went bad. So. I just thought I just thought Skynet invaded one of our you know co-hosts like you know phones. Yeah, see, may- maybe you could uh, put this into some way that I can understand it because you understand gaming a lot more than me. Okay. Why the hell would you only import the game for one console if exactly the way it is right now in Asia, it's playable with English subs on every console? Why wouldn't you just import every version? Uh, maybe for cost, possibly cost, maybe exclusivity, depending on where it's ported. Who ported it? Well, I mean, like, it, it's not ported. Like, Bandai made the game oh. originally in Japan. Okay, so and they ported it Japanese to where? The United States, the UK, Russia, where they ported to? Uh, they, the, it's not being actually ported. They're just bringing the game from Asia to America where you can buy it locally. But okay. they're only bringing the PS4 version. Oh, so, but can people still download, on PC or whatever, download the game? It's not on PC. You can... Oh, it's just on PlayStation 4? It's on the PlayStation consoles, like PS3, uh, PS4, PS Vita. Well, I mean, people are already finding a way outside the problem. I mean, don't get me wrong. Why why couldn't they? I mean, wouldn't it make them more money? I mean, unless this audience is so niche, it would cost more money to port it, to ship it over than it would uh, getting on your return investment. Right now, you can pay to uh, buy the exact version they're going to have available locally from uh, Asia. So it's 66 bucks to have it imported when you could just go to a store and pick it up for 60 if they made it locally. 66 bucks for imported? Yeah, so it's an extra $6 just to have it imported because they're too lazy to make the disc available in America. Well, I don't know what they would do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. How big, is the, no how big is the fan base? That, that, that is kind of confusing. How big it is, is sort of online. It's he probably one is, of the man. most popular <laughs> animes out there right now. So I don't know what the big. fuck Sword Art Online is. Thank you, Kant, though. I have no concept of <laughs> like, what the what fuck this shit is. is. Okay. It's Sword Art Online. What is that? It think sounds of the like fan base for Naruto. It's probably as big as that. Nah, it's not, not even. It, it's got to be even. close. Oh, no. Not debate even. this, Kanto, because you know more about this than me. I have no idea. So it's go on. it's Kanto, more for the freaking weeboos, bro, and the in the, the lovey doveys that like oh, all that God. shit. Yeah, go Google a search of Sword Art Online. It's a popular <laughs> anime, though. It is popular. It is popular, but I doubt it's that big. It's popular. Yeah, considering. Yeah. And to be honest, the first series was good. The second one, eh, okay. Now the, the everybody second. got this. The third and fourth series or whatever is getting hype right now. And it's not even out yet. Desire, oh, yeah. I swear to God, if you haven't watched Sword Art Online, I'm going to punch you in the face. Uh, he did ask, though, what are our thoughts on Windows 10? And I'm pretty sure everyone here has at least tried it. Don't play videos, Marcel, you no, fuck. I never played it. Yeah, <laughs> Marcel, don't play any videos. You're going to get us flat. That shit looks ridiculous. What Seven. is this shit? It looks like a ridiculous cartoon. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what is so, this shit? This shit is bananas. Thoughts, basically, thoughts yeah. on Windows 10. Does anyone have any? Because I particularly don't like it. I particularly hate it. Nothing wrong with my current Windows. I'm good. I'm still on 7. (laughs) Okay, so uh, pretty much to me it sounds like that we have a 3 against 1 vote saying Windows 10 is not necessary. 
Or it's not that. necessary. Oh, shit. I honestly can't tell if that's a trick question. Oh, for fuck's sake, why? Why would you do that? You, that, you are an evil, evil, cunty person. Why are you being so cunty today? What's wrong with you? <laughs> he just has to. He has to ruin your day while he can. Yeah, it's true. I fucking hate you. <laughs> he said thank you. Okay, blackout so updates. God damn it. Blackout updates. I'm pretty sure Marcel has most of those right now. We, we've had our partners go up. We had a lot of transfers. I think our count now is at 422. Yeah. It should be 422, unless it went up again. But uh, Marcel will have pretty much all the updates because I've been, of course, fucked up and don't know half of what's going on, essentially. Well, Marcel, take it away. Oh, yeah, Marcel made it beautiful. Yeah, I recently saw that. Good job, Marcel. I saw it, and I almost cried. It was beautiful. Okay, yeah, it is 422. Yep, confirmed. But uh, that's pretty much the main update, I think. Oh yeah, live news feeds. I think oh, that's people while we're while we're uh, while we're talking on the blackout thing, I want to reinforce a point. If you guys have any footage or gameplay or vlog or any whatever the fuck you want to put on, um, <clears throat> submit to the Blackout Hub channel. Submit it to us at blackoutmedia.net, and we'll look it over and we'll put it up, man. We want to yeah, get your guys' community content. stuff on the site or on the uh, fucking YouTube channel. So if Originally. you guys have anything, man, just you know anything original of yours. Let us know and put it up and uh, submit it to us. We'll be happy to put it up unless it's like, you know, shit that we can't put up. What is this nonsense? These cartoon drawings. What is this bullshit? What is this <laughs> fucked up cat ears? You know, cats put parasites on your brain. They're oh, you put cat the ALS version worse. on? Oh, uh, wow. Let's do that for. That is wrong. What do you do? Why are we watching this shit? <laughs> Why are we watching this shit? See it. I can't see it, so I don't I don't know what's He's going showing on. pictures of seeing them. No, <laughs> bad. This is bad. At least it's make it the GGO version because the gun gill one's better. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is not good. God, get it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for getting rid of that shit because that was troubling. Yeah, thanks. It was made by Koreans. It was not made by Koreans. It was made by Koreans, Nick. Oh. Wait, really? Well, it was made by a Japanese guy, manga, but I mean, it was what the animation and shit was done by Koreans, just like Naruto. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm I disappointed know. in my people. <laughs> I'm not. I love your people. Yeah, yeah. From an outsider perspective, I could see why. <laughs> my not culture. Just part Asian. I am part Asian. Technically, we're supposed to be enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Technically, think, we're supposed to be somewhere enemies. somewhere along the line, I'm probably like... <laughs> Kato, I traveled you to battle. <laughs> For Anna. For Anna. For Anna. That, that reminds me. Can, can you possibly spend just a little bit of time to talk about shit guys? Kato, I check you for my honor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racist. We're both Asian. Sh Shikai is a legitimate master swordsman. Kato, are you what? a swordsman? Yeah. Or are you but just I mean, a professional I'm not murderer? Wait, Kato, you're a swordsman? Talk, tell me about this. Yeah, I took Ido growing up. Ooh. Ido. So how, Japanese so Ido, traditional swordsmanship. Of, oh, you are a traditional swordsman, sir. <laughs> Did you have an instructor like that? Cut. Not like that. He didn't sound like that. He spoke no. perfect English, to be honest. <laughs> oh. yeah. You got to get like the old um, Taekwondo trainer. No, no, you must kick. You must kick. <laughs> He was the chamber. <laughs> he was the chamber <laughs> leg. Chamber leg. Kick it up. Kick it up. Back a kick. Back a kick it up. The, the, the dude went on Facebook side. and tried to cut open a water bottle, but his form sucked. So shit, I did like a video showing it, and like, oh my god, it wrecked. Do you still practice? How long have you been doing it? 
I was doing it a lot growing up. Went into the military and I stopped. And when I got out, I just got fat. No, I have a question. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. 16 to Twinkies. Oh, jeez. No, I never ate Twinkies. A lot of soda. A lot of, oh, a lot of soda. Lot of drinks, drinks, bro. Soda, soda's like, that's my weakness. That's your weakness. So uh, how long were you in the military, actually? Six years. Six years. Jesus, you must have killed a lot of people. No comment. See? See? He can't even talk about his black-labeled, black-taped fucking uh, military career. No. You, you seriously can't? Some I can, some I can't. Let's talk about what you can talk about. Mm. He said, no, I probably shouldn't talk about what I can talk about. Uh, no, you I can't. Uh, okay, I'll put this like, I, I know a question combat. you can probably answer. Did you get to visit any cool places? Not in the military, no. I mean, I went to Afghanistan one tour, Camp Rhino, but that was about it. That was years ago. Okay, my so you went to a is, really shitty place. My question yeah, is, did you shit. see combat? Yes. Okay, never yeah. mind. Enough. You answered every question I could ever ask you. <laughs> every question I could ever ask you. Everyone does not hear that. He's seen combat. Enough said. Enough said. Yeah. He's got stories he's taken to his grave. You know, you know what I would come to? Hey, desire. Hey, desire, we love you, buddy. You fucking savage. We know he's an apple core. Marcel and Chick, I probably know this, but in Gun Gale Online, there was like a girl oh, what, that was what, traumatized. What, 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 put that up. Put pictures of that up online. I want to see what this shit is. Okay. So you just, you just saw it. <laughs> oh there was a girl that was traumatized by guns, and she used uh, virtual reality as therapy to get over like yeah. the fear of guns. You I think guns. I think in some way that's why like people that were in the military will turn to video games is for like therapy, yeah. in a way at least. I don't know. I Maybe forget about everything, up. man. That's that's the honest truth. Really, you it's know, that bad. It's, it's that bad. Like. Man. There's some shit that I saw that just make your shit stomach fucking tired, man. Well, man, I mean, honestly, <clears throat> you guys are essentially real life heroes. I hate how the fucking government treats no you heroes. guys. No what? Hero. No heroes. No. Fuck that. Heroes. Well, maybe not to you guys, but to people like us. Where the biggest fight I've gotten into was I gotta shot say though, the, the fucking combat medics in the military. Those guys are heroes. Holy shit! I would say anybody who goes over is considered a hero in civilian books. Yeah. Straight up. Like, you must hate those... Mo oh, man, I don't even want to get on that kind of shit. That's We're just, just people doing piece. our job, man. We know what we signed up for. Freaking yeah. Marcel's over there. Marcel wants to make a GoFundMe. You know what, Marcel? You want to do it? You can go ahead and do it on my behalf. And the I GoFundMe's won't go all. monthly? You have to donate monthly or just donate as much as you want all the time? It's, um... Yeah. At any like, time? It's like you set a price and you just donate whenever you want to and... The like PayPal funds for so long. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm probably gonna start a GoFundMe. You, you're starting me a GoFundMe? I think he's making fun. Let's go. No, you should start me a GoFundMe. <laughs> a lot of YouTubers doing that shit now. No, I want to GoFundMe for one purpose, for one specific purpose. Pine cones. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just why lie about it? It's like, hey guys, in order for me to do my show at maximum capacity, I have a pine cone allotment that I need. Now I'll still continue to make the show, but to make this show as fucking rugged and bombastic as humanly possible, as aptly possible. Okay, don't need to bad news. B has to go because apparently I have other things I have to do before the appointment, so B has to leave early. All right, B. Well, I I'm glad you stopped by for this show, man. I really am. Oh, yeah. I will be back probably later and hopefully to play some games with everyone so okay yeah. man will yeah. you be safe and let us know what happens all right peace out everyone all right brother Take be care, safe brother. yeah among other things yeah yeah uh, I mean, nobody knows what it's like until you take one, you know, a bunch of shit runs through your head, you know, it really does, over the years, you know, you think, well, that guy's a soldier, it's either him or me, most people will just say that, but then you start getting in depth about it, that's somebody's husband, that's somebody's brother, that's somebody's father, somebody's son. That's fucked up, you know, I, and, it's, you know, it's, I don't know how a person deals with that. Yeah. But well, I, I would say, I'd say impossibly hard. In some circumstances. 
That's tough. Yeah. Kanto, why do you keep playing Grand Theft Auto V? You know it's a bad game. It's a horrible game. But you, but you leveled. But you played so much of it. I just want to know from a player who hates the game but still plays. Why? Why do you continue? Why do you continue just, to torture yourself? <laughs> shits and giggles, I guess. I How is shits and giggles enough to warrant that game? I don't know. Just something satisfying about him making a 12-year-old just fucking rage. <laughs> So you're that you're in that game my strictly friends. to piss kids off. Well, piss kids off or just to either, you know, have me and my friends just find something random and stupid to do in there. Okay, true enough. Okay, I understand that standpoint. As much as you're wrong, I, it's, I understand. <laughs> find something else to play. All right. I do need to find something else to play. Right I now, I kind of got back into big. Warframe. Warframe is destiny, but free. Yeah. If you think about it. That's actually something we could talk about. I mean, do you agree with me on that one? No, I agree with you. It's a cash shop horror, though, too. It is a cash shop really horror, is. but if you play the game just by base, it's enjoyable as is. It is. It is. It's a third person shooter. Yep. You have an assortment of weapons yep. that you could that you could just play to buy eventually, or uh, play to unlock, not play, not buy. The wawa wawa. Uh, I'd say uh, I'd say let's just try to do five hundred. Let's not go crazy here. I don't think people are going to donate a thousand dollars to him, not not to be a dick or anything about it. It's just, dude, we're 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 just we're just some people, you know, with our own little network. I don't I don't think a lot of people are going to donate to us. I I might be wrong. The people's hearts might be bigger than I expected them to be. But I mean, no, Warframe's all right. I mean, if they had vehicles, shit, it would be Destiny. They had the same stupid emoticons, just that they look cooler. Yeah, that's the funny part. That's what I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god so i noticed you have a wrestling i noticed you play wwe 2k15 i did play yeah, okay played, so played. what did you think about it because I, I like getting people's opinions on it um i what i didn't like let me let me start off by that yeah, was yeah, the customization compared to 2k14 i had 2k14 on uh, real quick on question. 360 are you yeah. a fan of the wrestling games i have been for years but i fell out like during the attitude era on uh so you know, after the attitude there, the, like like the late nineties, yeah. early two thousands, I stopped watching it. Like it just, it was oh. a big part of me during high school, but after I graduated, I, I kind of stopped just watching it all together. Oh. After they combined everything from WWF into WWE, and then World WCW and all that other stuff came yeah. in to play. After Vince McMahon bought out all the companies. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So yep. I kind of stopped watching it, but I mean, I played every single fucking wrestling game. From 8 bit Nintendo all the way up. And one of my favorite ones was the old school ones from the 64s. Like WrestleMania that was the 2000, No Mercy. WrestleMania, No Mercy, WWE. No Mercy WCW was so WWE versus awesome. NWO. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, they like, were so amazing at the time. I loved them. Yeah, they were. Big old freaking Minecraft pixel blocks tearing each other up. Fucking huge pixel blocks. <laughs> uh, they do like one pose and then go back to static and then walk yeah. toward the ring all slow. <laughs> to me, since then, like I look for... That's the bad thing about the... the, the I guess, it, is it EA that does the 2K series? No. It's somebody who does the 2K, I forget. 2K does the 2K series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the publisher, I forget. Take Two? Wait, take Two, okay. I think Take Two does it. Yeah, okay. I I'm still looking for that wrestling game that feels like the N64 ones. We're not gonna flick. find that. No, no, but like flick of the you know you flick the analog stick and you do your special. You know, holding a grapple does a stronger move than just tapping it. You know. Uh, by the way, it was 2K Sports that published it, and uh, Ukes developed it, and Visual Concepts also had a hand in it. There you go. It was distributed by Take Two. I was wrong about that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Just bringing up a little uh, information for the conversation. <laughs> but no, so no, but I, I, I liked I liked two K fifteen. I really did. I liked the customization as far as how in depth you can get. I even played it through the career mode and became like the champion. The champion, <laughs> world heavyweight champion. I got Kanto. addicted to it. You know what's funny is how I got that game. How'd you was, get that game? Uh, my little kid brother, step kid brother. Um, he was on my computer. Yeah, he was on my computer, yeah, yeah. and he was like, oh, you have a wrestling game, and I'm like, they texted me on my phone, he's like, hey, can your kid brother, you know, can Caden, that's his name, can Caden play WWE, and I'm like, do I have that, if I have it, go ahead, sure, he was on my computer, little did I know, he bought it, and he bought oh, it with my attached no, credit card, $60 purchase, yeah, it was a $60 purchase at the time, 
fuck? So I was like, okay. And I got home and I went to go. I think I went to work the next day and I was trying that to was buy some. That was before Steam eat. refunds too. So you were kind of yeah. screwed, weren't you? You're right, right, right. And um, when I went to go get something to eat, I think I went to like a local McDonald's or something just to get some quick burger or something. Right. And I hate eating there, but it was just quick and easy and fast. And my car got declined. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, where's all my money in my checkings? And he bought like three games. What? And I was like, what the hell? So I had to transfer money out of my savings into my checkings just so I could get something to eat. See, this is why I think that Steam refunds are a good thing. Because yeah. situations like that. Yeah. And what's funny, too, is like I sent them a ticket. I'm like, hey, you know, this is what happened. My kid brother ordered my game under, you know, he didn't have my consent. Is there any way I can be refunded? Like, I will ask for just credit back or swap it out for another game. I think that the only game I really was interested in buying was Project Cars at the time, that, that simulation racing game. Right. I was going to buy one anyway, but I wasn't expecting to buy WWE 2K15. <laughs> You know, but I was interested. It was on my wish list, so, so that's what, probably so how he saw it. What did you like about it? Like, let's go into that a little bit. Um, I mean, it's it's fun. I just it's mainly the customization lately. Like, I care less. I'm I'm not big on all the characters. Like, I don't even know who half of them were. Do, do you know that what I do in WD two K fifteen all the WWE games? I make a fat luchador and give him flying moves. <laughs> <laughs> Like what? What kind of characters do you make? Like what kind of style do you make them wrestle? Oh, I make like any other like traditional Kanto style. If like I played an MMO or whatever, you know, she kind of style. Oh just, God! So they look all. I wear my my natural colors. You know, the blue and the the Tron the Tron do color like elbow pads. blue. Huh? Do you wear elbow pads and the knee pad? No, like I liked my look. Like he just had a hoodie on with a blue shirt underneath, and like the, you know how Rock had those Reebok sweatpants. Yes, like break face? I do remember those. Yeah, like you, he'd wear those, and he wear like these shoes and white shoes, and I just give him like some badass ninja type moves. You know, <laughs> what Hot was his finisher? Sure. I forget. Um, I think I had the RKO. Yeah, the RKO. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> I had the RKO. Like in the other games, like I would love getting like the Bronco Buster or some shit. That that was oh, hilarious. Of course, Kanto with the fucking <laughs> cock to the face, fully cock to the face from Kanto with an RKO <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> oh man, that's great. You can have like two finishers, wasn't it? Or was yeah, it like a finisher? Two finishers and like signatures and all that yeah. shit. Like my favorite finisher of all time is the Stone Cold Stunner. I think that's one of my favorite. And in that game, it looks amazing because he even. Makes him flip over and comes and shakes his head and yells at you, flips you off, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. No, nah, but I, the customization is why I like. I really liked it. Oh, for sure. I like the fact that you, when you make your own character and you can go through, you know, campaign and all that stuff too, and feel like a, you know, like a real wrestler going through it. And you see like the little behind the scenes stuff, you know, with like uh, what's her name, uh, Vicky Guerrero and all that shit. Yeah. And all them, so it's like you get to see all that. It's like, hey, I'm taking your belt away if you don't defend your title, you know. So it's kind of, <laughs> like I'm, yeah. I'm taking that. I'm taking that toy that we gave to you because you're yeah. doing good and you're marketable. <laughs> 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 oh man, Kanto, uh, what the fuck? What other games you've been looking forward to? I mean, there's got to be some games you've been looking at. I mean, Marcel too. If you could think of anything, let me know. Chime in. Right. I really like. Besides, like, No Man's Sky, which is a huge anticipation for most people, like, I'm interested are you, in that. Are you looking forward like, to No Man's Sky? I'm like, I want to play it, but the problem is, like, I, I see the potential of it being a huge game. But there's still unknown, at least to me, I haven't done research yet. Can you go on the ground? Can you farm? Yeah, you can, can go on the ground. You can go into yeah. the spaceship. You could fly every, uh, you could visit different galaxies. And oh, it's not just one galaxy. It's a whole universe. Yeah, see, then that's pretty cool then. Yeah, you can mine minerals, you could fight, you could shoot people down. I mean, the whole point is that point of it is to upgrade your ship and to get to the center of the universe. That's the actual point of the game, but the game's so fucking expansive that, you know, you're going to get you're going to get distracted. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I get all that information from Cobra TV. There you go. And I'm not even <laughs> joking. It's not a cheap plug. It's just he he made a whole channel on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go to his channel anytime you want. No, no, that's I just subbed to them when you guys started talking about him. So yeah, like, dude, oh, go check it out. I saw a lot of his videos. Oh, absolutely! If you go to Cover TV GN Etten, that's the podcast yeah. I do with them on Tuesdays. It's fucking hilarious, man! You got to go to it and check it out. Oh uh, yeah, it's what I do on Tuesdays. If you're ever wondering. 
Yeah, I'm off on Tuesdays. I'll, do, I'll start checking it out. There you go, man. Do you, uh, yeah. do you check out the Roman Apple show on when it comes out Mondays, or do you wait? Do you wait till it's up? I when I get home from work, because it's usually late nights, so I'll usually go through my subscriptions and find out who's put out videos, and I just watch them. Well, mine is on my the website only now. The full shows. Oh, really? Yeah. So, in case you're wondering, <laughs> there you go. go yeah, there you go. Video. But yeah, man. Actually, I was thinking about the uh, Left 4 Dead 2 we're gonna do. I, I was, I'm down for it, man. I want to shoot some zombies with the homie. Let's go. It's like the only zombie game I want to play now. That's actually a good question. Are you tired of zombie games as much as I am? I am tired of zombie games. Like, when did it? When did it start becoming tiresome for you? Well, I mean, I was playing Day Z since the mod. Oh when fuck it, Day Z! Arma... I hate that game. No, like since the mod though, Arma oh, Two. Oh, Arma Two Days. And... Arma Two Days, and I played it to the standalone. And the standalone was so boring that you couldn't find shit, so, so I left. So what the differences between the standalone and the mod? I really, I, besides a graphic overhaul, not much. Really? So why, you why was it a lot more in the mod than you could in the in the standalone when it first came out? Now you can yeah. do a lot, from what I hear. Right. But since there was other games that came out after Day Z, like we played a uh, not just H one Z one, there was another one too. I'm trying to remember it. There's been a few of them. And there's another one going on. There's new Arma 3 mod, too. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Beautiful something. I forget. So when did zombie games become tiresome for you? After DayZ. After DayZ? So I was playing it for years. So it's, it was, okay, so, it's, like, so you're done for it? Like you're not <laughs> like The Walking Dead or any of the other games? Not really. I mean, I like more like... I love Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 is probably one of the, my favorite zombie game. See, I'm in agreement with you. If I have to play a zombie game, it's probably Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah. There's something about just survive. It's just the survival waves and the hordes. It just makes sense yeah. to me. Like, just survival games. Not more zombie, but survival games. I'm like, Is that a survival but, game or is that a first-person shooter? Well, DayZ and, and... Well, I'm not talking about Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead oh, okay. is like a survival FPS. Yeah, like, okay. Like Daisy and H one Z one and all these other games, like those games, I'm I'm just sick of. Like, oh, you gotta eat, you gotta drink, and you gotta do this, and you have to build this, and it's uh, it's like there's so many out right now. I think they it's so, I think the market arc survival. <laughs> you know, well, what that's I mean? dinosaur. At least it's dinosaurs. Yeah. Right. I just think the market's become very oversaturated with those games, and they're really losing their allure. Well, that's like it's PC gaming now for you. They did that with first person shooters. They did that with RTSs. You know, now it's becoming nothing but survival, some minimal FPS, not as much as it used to be, and more like MOBAs and all this other stuff now. Do we have any good adventure games anymore? I'd say we don't. No, not Assassin's really. Creed doesn't count at this point. Right now. <laughs> because now it's more action-y, isn't it? It is. I'd it's say it's more action. action. Like a good old Mario type game. Like, we don't have those. The only well, game I'm actually problem. looking forward actually, to. Think like, about that. Do we want another type Mario type game? I don't think we would. Yeah. Hold on one second. Marcel, what about you? Oh, Humble Bundle, what'd you buy there? Because Humble Bundle's badass. For anybody in the chat who doesn't know, Humble Bundle's awesome. Okay, so Marcel, I actually never ask you too often. Like, what is your favorite games? I think it's RPGs. Okay, does that? Do you play Game Dev Tycoon? Because I'm real stuck on that game. I love that game. You ought to try it, man. It's a good simulator. All you do is make video games. Absolutely. Well, no, I know. I'm just saying in general. I hate being broke too, man, but that's why we got to pump out the content, you know, and then obviously, you know, keep working our normal jobs on the side. Good, man. Keep that hustle going. Make that fucking money, dude. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's true. You know, the world's about making money. That's how the world goes around. So it's just an inevitability. Okay, you'll be in the UK. Marcel, uh, will you make content for the Hub channel?
Yeah, that's uh -huh. true. That's not that bad. Kanto, are you back, brother? I'm back. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's okay, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. My fucking brain hurts, man. Like, I don't know what I've been <laughs> doing. Maybe it's, like, been too many pine cones or something, man, but my brain fucking kills me. Uh, I don't know what it is. I have no clue. I need pine cones. I don't have any. <laughs> you need pine? You don't have any? I feel so bad for you. I know, right? It's fucking horrible. Straight up, that's horrible. I haven't, I haven't done that in so long. Holy shit. Well, I mean, you should be smoking 24-7, brother. That's another thing I wanted to ask you about. <laughs> a a absolutely. There's something that's been a talk point. My boy Roshu brought this up on one of his videos. What do you think about uh, marijuana, like dr drugs and video games, and if they go together or not? I don't, like, if you're talking about weed... Then yeah, it's just it's pine cones. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's no different from alcohol and gaming to me. If you're talking about that now, if you're talking about, you know, fucking no, meth and all that other shit, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No, recreational, you're fine. But if you're talking like meth and stuff like that, and like, fuck, get the fuck out of here with that shit. No, I rather, I rather be high off a fucking ounce or something than <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking forty. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if I'm trading in my fucking weed pipe for a crack pipe anytime soon to play some no, no, goddamn, no. you know, Street Fighter. There's been times, man, like where I, you know, I I smoked one time. I think it was like three years ago. And what was I playing? I don't remember if it was Second Life or some shit. But just I was dead staring at the screen and every little sound and detail just fucking amplified. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just amazing. Like I would be laughing my ass off. While eating a bowl of cereal, I think it was Captain Crunch. <laughs> nah, yeah, there you go. Nice. That's a question I got. Like, what do you think about the whole PEDs and esports and the whole drug testing, people taking Adderall and all that shit? What's your whole standpoint on it? It fucking matter. I don't really care. You know, it's well, not well. So you don't care about the whole uh, drug. You don't care about the use at all, or do you? Do you care about the drug testing in esports now? <clears throat> no, it shouldn't matter. You know. Yeah, esports. It's not like it's performance enhancing. It's not really. You can have any scientist say that bullshit, but still, in the end of the day, if you're not better than that guy, then that's your own damn fault. You know, you're not on your A game. You know, that, that's matter. a good standpoint. That's an interesting standpoint. Uh, like, because you know, I understand people, why they're doing the, the gaming uh, drug community. Test. Like, what's what's the most? You know, like people get into fights and arguments online. One v one, me kid. You know, whatever. You know, and if you don't beat him, you know, what are you going to say? Oh, he's on drugs. He's doing blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, you're not. You're just not bad as him or he's hacking or whatever, you know? So it's like. Well, that's interesting. Sport. I mean, I understand uh, wanting to be the best competitive wise. But at the same point, the video games have been you enjoyed. Right. Exactly. And it's supposed to be fun. You know. I, I, just, I'm just saying, I, I just thought that was an interesting standpoint you had on the whole uh, drugs and esports. Because I understand why companies have to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the bigger perspective is they have to. They have to regulate it. They have to get rid of it. This is too wide. There's too much money in advertising, too much av money going into sponsorship okay. and marketing for this. There's too much good press coming out of the video game industry right now. Of course, they're going to cut off finger to save the hand. Exactly. I mean, the only problem is what about people who are prescribed Adderall or prescribed drugs medically mm -hmm. by a doctor? Do they can they not play? Yeah, they have like a doctor's note or some shit. See, that's what I was thinking, but then Roshi <laughs> brought up a point of, well, what if they what if they are like they bring it in and start giving it out to people? Right. Kick their asses is not going to work, Marcel. <laughs> I, w I would assume just you have to leave it in your hotel room after you take your recommended dosage. Right. That'd be the most common thought. No, don't kick them in the... Actually, don't get me wrong. I'm all for the kick in the nuts theory, but publicly you can't do that. Could you imagine people just walking up? You're giving them Adderall! Da! Ah, tap out! Ah, no more at all for you, motherfucker! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just stepping out of dudes like uh, fucking knackers. <laughs> with the keyboard. I'll just falcon punch, punch that with shit. The keyboard. 
Could you imagine that? Some like Counter Strike player gets up and whacks somebody in the fucking head. Headphones go flying. Controller goes flying. <laughs> it just oh, he's a cheater, the, bro. <laughs> the scene from uh, Fight Club. Oh, I could, I can imagine that. That'd be hilarious <laughs> seeing in the gaming industry. <laughs> That'd be fucking was ridiculous. It? Can you imagine somebody just cracking them in the head? Oh, Jesus. Right. <laughs> Rip their fucking razor cracking or you know, razor black widow out the fucking computer tower and just oh my God, You see the mechanical absolutely. keys go flying everywhere? Oh, Jesus. Did you hear about um, uh, the Konami deal? What's going on with their business practices? Like they're being more strict about their employees and shit like that? Yeah, how they, they uh, monitor their employees and shit. What do you think about that, man? That's stupid. Yeah. Uh, I'd be pissed. Like they can't go home, they can't eat, they can't go to the bathroom without their say so. It's like it's like a, what do you call it? Like a training camp. Like a their um their computers aren't even plugged into the internet. Wow. Uh, now that was leaked from an from a uh, a website, you know, translated from Japan. But still, that, if that's true, it's damning as fuck. You know, their employee conditions are rugged and horrible. Yeah. Like, who would want to work for you, especially if that leaks out? That know? was my thought process. On top of it, they do this stuff called where they um. If someone's underperforming, they'll take that person out of their specialty position, whatever position they're in, and like make them a security guard for the pachinko machine factory, or make or make them clean toilets for the fit for the fitness club. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? What what kind of business practice is that? That is bonkers. Yeah, that's fucked up. I take mean, that I, corporate I don't, stick, shove it up your ass. Yeah, I don't see why anybody would work for those people. Like, why would you stay? What right, is compelling you to stay for those people? They can't be paying you that well. Konami's not even that good, you know. What happened, Marcel? I'm not looking at Skype chat. What's this? Probably something horrifying. That's terrible, just so you know. That's terrible. Jesus Christ. That's terrible, Marcel. I want you to know that you shouldn't have shown me that. <laughs> Wow. Just just for clarification, you, you shouldn't have shown me that, you fucking asshole. It's okay, though, man. I still love you, brother. You going to ditch, Marcel? Are you going to ditch? What do you mean he's going to ditch? <laughs> right. <laughs> you guys are That's cool, though. Did you guys do you guys hear that Titanfall is getting a free to play in Asia? What do you think, Kanto? Titanfall free to play? Should have been free to play a year ago. For everybody. <laughs> Did you Should like Titanfall been, at like, all? It wasn't worth no damn fifty dollar price tag. Absolutely Hell not. No. Oh, and you have to be online. You have to have Xbox Live or Gold. You know, I'm just saying from a console perspective. I played it on PC. Right. So did I. But no, it's like. It, yeah, it's like when you buy a fifty dollar, sixty dollar title, you expect what content? I want Stop my story it. mode. I want sixty dollars is a bill payment. That game better be yeah. fucking good. Yeah, not just oh we have campaign, but you we're gonna show you a little cutscene and then what? Take you in a multiplayer match? Like God, that's not that's not a campaign. I know it's not. It's like the most razor wafer thin campaign. It was a cool concept. It was a fun shooter, but it was limited. So that's, yeah, it didn't last too long for me. They added a survival mode. Did you see that? Frontier mode? No, I haven't, I haven't played it since like the first two weeks after. You're better out. off not. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> You're better off not. Oh, the free? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the free weekend or whatever it was. You wrecked it. That's... Well, yeah, now, but now the, that learning curve is gone and people know how to play now. Yeah. So it might be different. Oh, yeah. That's good, though. And there was, there was a bunch of cool, like, montage videos of, like, people doing badass shots and stuff on, like, Kotaku Highlight Reel and all that other stuff, too. Oh, Kotaku. Go fuck itself. <laughs> Otaku can go fuck itself. What a shitty website to get any source of information from unless they're confirming it from other reliable sites. Right. I'm not playing, man. It's true. No, no. 
there's some people like some authors that I actually like their stuff, but there's some of them just like, oh, you're just this is just a waste of time. The reason why I bring them up is because we got featured on their website a long time ago. Have you seen the new Star Wars Battlefront Squadron mode? That was actually one of the games that I was going to answer to the one. Which oh, yeah, one well, was if you want to talk to? about, I mean, so what do you think no, about I'm just Star saying. Wars? <laughs> I love Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars nerd, dude. So do you well, see? I, people gave me a lot of flack in the Star Wars community because I said uh, Star Wars Battlefront's going to be battlefield with the Star Wars skin and everything that they're showing. I'm turning out to be right down to the no, vehicles and everything. It is. It's basically Battlefield, but with Star Wars. So why are people shitting on me because I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those are diehard fans. Those are people that dress up like Princess Leia and Stormtroopers at conventions. The, do, do me, I'll just sport that. a lightsaber in my normal clothes, you know? <laughs> sport a lightsaber like, yeah, I'm Luke I got, I have, yeah. Ooh. What was Are, it, are the, you the, are you crazy enough fan ones? to join the Jedi religion? No, fuck no. What do you think no. about that? Even being a, I was being a Star Wars fan as you are. I was laughing. Were you? Is it just too comical? <laughs> yeah, it is. Too, too, too stupid? Mm, believe in the force, you will. Fuck out of here. Oh, fucking hey, Yoda. <laughs> What's good, Yoda, you motherfucker? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, mean, like, I, I, I like, I think it's more the, you know, like the good versus evil and the... Uh, you know the hero side of stuff, or like the, more, the lasers, uh, the words, man, the lightsabers, the samurai stuff. You know, mind bending shit. You know, that's that's the cool concept to me, not the love story, not the fact that you fell from you know, like the dark side. I could care less. Yeah, true enough. I just like the action. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, though, it's been our blackout. We're gonna wrap up. All right, everybody, it's been our blackout. Everybody, have a nice day. Blackoutmedia.net, baby. Work.